What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the, welcome to the live stream. Not back to the live stream, but welcome to the live stream. It's been a while. Um, having to do things from my uh, from the new laptop here. So, uh, Mary Boozer, what's going on? Um, I, that's I'm glad Mary Boozer's in here. Actually, real quick, you're actually the first one in, dude. How do I uh, how do I set people up to be uh, to be moderators and stuff like that? I'm really new to using this on my laptop. I'm just mixing up some epoxy here, you guys. And I'm glad you're in here because I'm doing this vampire too. And uh, you had you had some uh, you had a suggestion with using some carbon fiber, and I do have a nice piece of carbon fiber here for the tail section. Um, just mixing up some epoxy and just getting these main wings on real quick. Baby, can you get my glasses? Do you know where my glasses are? Grab, grab. Well, you're gonna you're you're gonna be in there anyway, so you should have just gone right behind me. Um, until I get my RC room figured out, um, I'll be doing some things right here from from my living room without. Um. But yeah, let me, I'm just going to get these main wing halves on real quick. And then I'll I'll read some of the comments off and then figure out how to do this tail section. Without the bench in there. I'm going to be putting the bench in the RC room, honey, so. All right, there we go. Now I can see. Okay. Um... Okay, everybody's just talking to one another. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Um, Boozer, was there not a main spar that goes in between here through the fuselage and goes through, or did you just put your own in? Oh my goodness. So how's everybody doing today, man? A little exciting there in the uh, Pilot Ryan show the other night. That was cool seeing all those guys donating, man. That was that he he uh, did pretty well for himself that night. I'm glad everybody got jumped on the bandwagon and started donating for him. That helps him out big time. Fred Barron's always a good donator. Mary Boozer is always donating. There was a couple of new names in there that donated too. I was pretty uh, pretty excited to see that. No, none of the giveaway stuff has been sent out. You guys, I'm doing it. Uh, what's today? Monday. I'm doing it Wednesday. All the giveaway stuff's being sent out Wednesday, you guys. Just so you guys know. Um, Traxxas guy, and um, I've already spoke to him and uh, um, Breaking Silence. They, they're both on the same page with me. They know what's going on. Um,
All right, first wing down and in. It's already got a cut out here. I, I want to say I believe that's... I'm going to check into that. I wonder if that's so that you can install flaps into this thing one down, one, one if you want to down the road. This has got to go to the wing support that comes out of the back. That's probably what that goes to. Um, it's actually kind of sizable, you guys. It's not as small as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a hell, a hell of a lot smaller. I'm going to mix up some more epoxy here. Um, all right, let's see. Eric WR, let's see. Eric, what was the message, man? I haven't looked at my phone in a few days, so I'm not sure what you guys. What was your question, bud? Stuff hardens so fast. Holy cow. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a, a, this is an epoxy mixture that I get, um, with some of my 64 millimeter jets seems to work really, really nicely. You, um, Cyclops, you may have gotten some with your, um, I'm not sure if they still use it, but you may have gotten some with your, uh, with your, um, Thunder Chief, actually. I don't know if they still use it, though. I'm not sure if they still send it out. All right, I, what I should say is I'm not sure if they're, they're using it with the new 64 mil jets. Starting to look more and more like a vampire. You know, if all you have to do is put some little tanks on the outside here, you guys, you can turn this into a venom so quickly. Like so fast. This could be a venom, like in no, no time. That wing looks like it's flexing a little bit over here. It's cool. I can see it in the camera that it's actually flexing. It should be like this. It's flexing downwards. It needs to be. All right, so besides a little bit of damage right here on these front parts right here, there's really no damage on the plane. There was a little bit back here on these little tail sections back here, these little, 
And back here on this one as well, not as bad on this one, but up here, this one was kind of bent down a little bit. Um, you guys, you guys probably laugh at this one, but um, no instruction manual again. That's two planes in like a month's time where I've gotten no instruction manual. So now comes the fun part, um, Mary Boozer. We're gonna put on these. Uh, we're gonna put these arms on these these booms on, and I've got my carbon fiber right here. Hopefully, it's enough. If not, I have more. Um. Hopefully it's enough. Right, we don't need that yet. We just need the booms. Just need the booms. All right, so let's see if I can see where he was saying we need a carbon fiber at. Oh yeah, I can see those are gonna fly right off of there, yeah. So carbon fiber to inside of that from there. Okay, so I see I see where he, I see where the carbon fiber needs to go. Okay. Um Needs to go right in there. So I need to break this in half. And that's how I break carbon fiber, you guys. I don't waste my time cutting it. Just put it on something flat on an edge, kind of like a beer bottle, like you would do a beer bottle. Make sure that your hand's close to the edge with it and then just bam, smack it. And then I'll probably break that in half again because from what I can see, I could even use some carbon fiber across like this probably as well. We'll see what happens afterwards. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing after I do it, you guys. What I'm doing is I'm shoving the carbon fiber down the tube here, down this. I'll probably go back probably about this far. Two inches sticking out to go into the wing. Yeah, see, okay, excellent, Boozer. I'm glad you're still watching. So I'm going to go about like that much, right? And that will go into the wing. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, yeah. I just want to go down a little bit further into the wing or into the boom itself. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's going to be great. Thanks for the heads up, Boozer. I appreciate that, man. That's pretty good, man. That's awesome. That's going to work great, man. All right. So here, And do you see that sandpaper? Wasn't it sitting right here? Okay, I got it right here. Never mind. Never mind. I got it. All right, guys. Just a little bit of sanding, so it's going to be kind of boring, but 
You're welcome to stay in the stream as long as you'd like. For most of you guys that don't do a lot of foamies, um, Eric Rogers, subscription. I will figure out how to uh, set up moderators after this, you guys, um, for the... Uh, for the channel, but for the most part, it's going to be probably the ones that are are already moderating um, in Mary Boozers and the Captain Mike Mike Pilot Ryan Captain Mike show. Um, pretty much, those will be all the same guys that are going to be in here uh, doing the moderating, um, and then a couple of choice guys that I have on my channel that have been here for a while. Um, mostly the guys that know how to pay attention to the stuff that needs to be paid attention to, and for. All right, we're going to stick this first boom on you guys. We already have our carbon fiber cut. All right, I stuck this on here pretty thick, you guys, so that way I can roll that carbon fiber spar on it, like so. What I'm doing is I'm just rolling it, kind of just using this carbon fiber spar to roll it around on here. And then I'm gonna take that carbon fiber spar, which has epoxy on it now, and I'm gonna mash it into there, like it's supposed to go in, there it goes, just like that. Then we'll add a little extra carbon, our, uh, to the carbon itself like this. And then that side will go into the wing itself, which has already got the pre-hole for. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Just like so, you guys. And this stuff sets up really, really fast. So 
really got to give it a couple of seconds. Literally, when I say a couple of seconds blowing on it, and then that's it. Don't do any more because it's going to set up quick. And then just hold it here for a moment. So what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Eric, how'd the blood work go, Brad? How'd the blood work go, buddy? Let me go back through. Eric, Ryan, oh, Mary Blue there. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So bruiser, I've got, I've got that, I've got that carbon spar going probably all the way down to the line here, the first line. And then it's into the boom pretty good. It's, it's up like here somewhere. And then I've got it glued all the way through, all the way down. So I can see how that, that would just snap off like that though. I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of not, not a very brilliant design. Because these booms right here on the real vampire, they're actually structurally built in, actually, as a part of the wing. There's like an L frame that comes down like this in the wing through the fuselage all the way down. And then those connect, those bypassing connect through like the tip of the wing here. And then it goes all the way back to the boom. So it's actually the structure of that tail on a real vampire and on the venom, venom itself are actually structurally built into this wing. It's all one piece. And then the wings built around it. They don't just bolt on like hobby wings or glue on. <laughs> no glue, no glue on real planes. I do like the EPO foam on this plane. It's 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 quite rugged. It's solid. It's not. It's not soft like some of the other ones that you get. But then again, it's not overly dense as well. We'll see when it takes its first bad hit or crash how well she, she stands up. Yeah, this is it's gonna it's yeah, it's fun. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's go ahead and start getting the other side. Surprisingly, this isn't going to be a very long build, you guys. It's not going to be, it's not too strenuous. All right, so. So I'm going to sand this first.
All right, so let's let's set that and that and that. And we'll grab this other boom down here. All right, this is the side that has us the servo. Okay, I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to take this hatch off in order to get this servo put in, you guys. So hold on, give me a second here. What the what? You gotta go back to work. Oh my god. Do you want me to go with you and help you? I can sh I can shut this down and go with you. I can go in and help you. Oh, uh, they wouldn't allow me to go on the floor with you. I'm visiting you. Huh. No, that's bullshit, man. Where at? At the high school? I'm going to be shutting this down here pretty soon. I'll, like I said, I'm going to put this boom on, and then what I'll do is I'll come back later and I'll finish this. Uh, you got some uh, kind of an emergency came up. My wife's got to go in, and um, So it looks like this is a carbon fiber. Looks like it's a carbon fiber housing in runner, you guys. Uh, yeah, it is an in runner. Um, so this has got to come. What a pain in the booty they have made this. What a pain in the butt they made this, you guys. That's got to go like that. See, this is where the instruction booklet would have came in nicely. See, this... This was supposed to go on before I attached the wing. Scott, what's up, guys? If I've missed anybody in the chat, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, Mary Boozer, we'll see you later, buddy. If I, if I didn't get to you in time, if I didn't see you before you left. Yeah, I'm excited for that giveaway tonight. I um, hope everything goes well with it. I don't know if I'm entered into it or not, but if I win Mary Boozer, just give it to someone else, man. Do another drawing and let, let that plane go to someone else, someone who needs it more than I do. So I just bought a brand new Sabre. What's up, Luke? How you doing, buddy? So, yeah, a um, little bit of a pain in the ass here, you guys. 
just to show you real quick, these before you put these wings into the main fuselage, you want to put these booms on first. I made the mistake of not doing that. So now I'm going to have to modify it a little bit. And I'm going to have to put a slit here where I don't want to put a slit inside of where the kit, where the, where it's held on here. Yeah. See what a pain in the butt. What a pain in the arse. See, this is supposed to go inside. This is supposed to follow this line down and go inside of the wing here. And it was supposed to go in from the inside. So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to punch a hole here and pull this through. Oh, well, huh? It is what it is. So I'll punch a hole using this. My daughter's got her um, second tennis match of the year coming up here pretty soon, guys. So I'll be cutting this stream off. But before I cut the stream off, we will go ahead and get this last boom put on. And uh, we'll pick the stream up later. All right. It's in there, you guys. There we go. All right. That goes like that, and that goes like that. Okay, you guys, so uh, we're looking pretty good here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this carbon fibered. Pull that out like that. Nice, okay. <laughs> nice, you guys. All right. I'll get some epoxy mixed up and we'll get that that last bar or uh, that last boom put on. We'll stop the stream from here, you guys. What do we got going on? Brian Chambers is still in. Eric's still in. Eric Rogers still in. Let's go. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate that, man. Scott is actually an old contest winner. Uh, Cyclops, who has been in here recently, he's also a contest winner from before. Um, then there was Joseph Luan. Um, there was Matthew Richardson. Oh, my God. The list goes on. There's so many contest winners that I can see. Eric Rogers was our last contest winner. And then Traxxas guy was in here a little while ago. Um, KCC, I don't think he was in here. Um, oh, that's who you, okay, Eric, video editor. Okay, that's who you are. Why is it, why is it showing up Eric WR? Did you change your name, Eric? That's why I'm ignoring you, Eric. Your name's not coming up right. Ha! <laughs> Okay, you changed your name. Well, dude, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to know? So Eric, a.k.a. Eric, the video editor, yes, has made me an intro video. Um, I have to download it onto this computer. Then it has to rebuffer. It's got to do, do some type of progress process. And then once it does that, uh, it should come in 1080p for me. 
Um, but yes, he did make me an awesome intro video. It's on my phone and, um, he's a good dude. He's a good kid. Um, I, I'm always talking to him, um, online, but no, I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't ignoring you, buddy. No, I just, uh, yes, shirts will be sent out after the main packages will be sent out, Brian. Um, after I send out the main prizes on Wednesday, the, either that next day or the day after, which will be like a Thursday or a Friday, I'll be sending out all the shirts that are owed out to everyone. There's Eric, video editor. There he is. There. Now I know who you are, dude. <laughs> I didn't know who you were, dude. Yeah, so... um. Once I take care of what the main contest winners on Wednesday, then the shirts will be going out um, either the day after or uh, the Friday, uh, this, this coming up Friday, Friday. So everything will be going out by the, by Saturday. Um, and what shirt did you want, Brian? Was it Brian? Yeah. What, what shirt did you want? Did you want the black and white one or the black and gray one? We have the red one. We've got the blue one. We've got two of the snow ones, like the winter ones, winter themed ones left. Uh, and I've got like several of the black and gray ones. And then what else do I got? Um, hold on, you guys. I just got a message on my phone. Yeah. Eric, video editor. He's got my, my phone number, too, as well. Hmm. <laughs> So somebody wants to buy one of my old bowling balls. <clears throat> Eric, you're funny, dude. <laughs> Eric, video editor. <laughs> oh, and I got a er uh, message from Eric. Uh, the other Eric. Eric, my battle buddy, Eric. Um, all right, so is that hardened up good enough at least? All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this last boom done. And then I'm going to sign off for now, you guys. And then we'll come back on later and we'll finish this bad boy up. Very nice. This thing's actually quite sizable, guys. It's not actually that small. It's a, it's quite, it's quite a big plane. It's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be like your small little 64 millimeter jets. This thing is, uh, this thing's got some size to it. All right. This is going to be the last of this epoxy. So we got to make it work. We got to make it work guys. Got to make it work. And then we're going to switch to Gorilla Glue for the end of it. Or, or just some regular, uh, some re regular epoxy uh, that I have. All right, so we'll set that there. Roll this stick around in here like this.
Oh my goodness, that is awesome, you guys. Put that in there, that's exactly where that goes, just like that, you guys. Look at it from this way. All right, you guys. So uh, that's going to conclude it for right now. Later, Mary. Later, Dave. Later, guys. Uh, what did you say for that shirt, uh, Brian? Brian, did you mind which one or does it matter? Oh, I think it, maybe you did answer. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, shit. My bad. I Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. I'm adding moderators now. Scott, you'll get a wrench. Eric's got a wrench. Eric moderator's got a wrench. Or Eric, you've got a wrench. You guys, never mind Brian Chambers' information. That was a mistake on my part, learning how to use the system here. It's a lot different on a computer than it is on your phone. Yeah, I have I haven't got a chance to check out any of the intros yet. Um, what I'm trying to do is figure I'm trying to figure out how to pull them up through the computer. That way, I get them in 1080p. Um, Eric, um, I'm assuming you just sent me one on my phone, though. Yeah, so here, I'll let you guys see this, okay? Just a really quick, uh, really quick. That will be, that will be it. That will be it. Can't play audio. Audio codec is not supported. Okay, that's why I got to bring this up on my laptop. I want you to send that. Okay, so Eric, I want you to send that to my email. I want you to send that video to my email, which is...
Hotmail, sorry. There you go. All right. Um, all right, guys. So that's it for right now. I'm going to shut down the stream. Um, I will be back hour or so, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'll be back in a little bit. We'll finish up this bad boy. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, uh, first live stream back since, uh, they had been taken away from me a while ago, um, for stupid reasons, but, um, we got them back now. We'll start doing some more live stuff. We'll, um, I have to go in there and I have to configure the RC room and get that fixed up so that we can start, uh, live streaming from there. I hope you guys could hear me clearly. I hope everything was great. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC, and we'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Later.